Hello guys, uh, today we're going to do a UDK tutorial on adding a decal texture into UDK. Uh, decal textures can be used to lay an, a texture over another texture. This can be useful for putting, say, a crack in a wall or putting graffiti on a wall. So what you're first going to want to do is you're going to want to find an image to work from. Uh, so just go out onto Google and find the image. I'm going to search for graffiti. Just go into images. I'll pick any of these. I'll pick um just scroll down a little bit try and find we'll go with this one or it's hard to choose we'll go with this adidas one this adidas one will do perfectly so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on view image this makes sure this makes sure that the image is in the proper resolution and at the highest quality that you can download the, the one you've selected so right click on it and just save image save it to pictures I'm just going to save it as decal test there we are so now we're finished on Google we can just close that down and we can open up Photoshop now I already have it pre-opened now we have to import that picture into Photoshop to make sure it's at the proper dimensions and to save it as the correct file type so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to file new and you're going to want to just call it decal test again or call it whatever you want really I'm just going to call it decal test for organization and you're going to want to make sure it's in pixels and the width and the height have to be to the power of 2 as in a uh, value like uh, 182 sorry uh, 128 256 512 1024 um, this one could be 512 this one could be 256 uh, as long as this one is to the power of 2 and this one is to the power of 2 it will work but if it isn't then it just won't work uh, also it has to be 8 bit here and RGB color and the resolution can be anywhere between 70 and 300 so that's that's all good there so I'm just going to press OK and it comes up with this white blank background now this is exactly what I wanted what we're going to do now is we're going to go to file and we're going down to place and we're going to select the picture decal test place and now it's been brought in now we're just gonna bring it out to the edges extend it out to the edges so there's no white left in the background I'm just gonna take OK okay so that looks good now so now what we have to do once you've done this you can come up here to file come down here to save as and it'll automatically come up as a PSD we need to click down on this option and we need to save it as a targa or .tga as you can see down here uh, it won't be able to save as a targa or .tga unless it is to the power of 2 uh, in the dimensional so I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to hit save and then this option will come up uh, also it must be either 16 bit or 32 bit uh, if you pick 24 bit it won't work so I'm going to click on 32 bit and that is all we need now we can just close Photoshop because that's the last thing we need to do with it very good so I'm just going to open up UDK here this is the little level that I've prepared earlier so I'm going to put the decal onto here once I have it imported just to show you how it affects other materials so what we need to do is we need to open up the content browser and we come down here to import we click on the import and you need to find the image you want to import or the uh, target file that you want to import so I'm just going to go to picture because I saved it in picture and you see here I've got the decal test and the original decal test photo uh, you need to bring in the target folder though so I'm just going to click on it open it now it's being imported into my package I'm actually going to import it into a package that I have prepared specifically for this kind of work there it is and I'm going to import it into the decal or sorry the texture file I import everything into this just uh, for organizational purposes uh, you can import it into any uh, file that you've already previously set up <coughs> so uh, just keep the name decal test and just that's all good for now so just put hit OK and it's been brought in it's been brought into the textures folder because that's where I wanted it to go in and I'm just going to quickly right click on it and just save it okay so the next step is to right click here in the content browser and uh, new decal material we need to click on new decal material click on that 
and we're going to change the grouping here. I'm going to change the grouping to decals because it's going to be a decal once it's finished. And I'm just going to call this Adidas. Adidas. Very good. So just click OK. Just drag this over slightly. Now you see here I have the new decal material selected in my package. I'm just going to scroll down slightly here so I can get back to the textures folder textures and select the decal that I the image rather that I want to work off of to make a decal I'm just going to drag that down into the window that was open previously there we are so now we can just drag the content browser and minimize it I'm just going to bring up this now I'm just going to bring this up slightly so it's a bit more in line we need to connect this part here into the emissive you can see here it appears and now you need to connect decals into a missive uh, because they're different to tileable and different to non-tileable textures which are plugged into the diffuse uh, that's covered in another tutorial if you're interested I'm just going to drag this up now we need to change one thing we need to click on these sorry just click out of both of these instead of having one select and uh, just give it a moment after freezing on me there we are <coughs> That sometimes happens in UDK, but don't worry about it, it does pass. Uh, okay, so without any of them selected, uh, these options should come up here, right here. We need to change the blend mode and the lighting mode. And I'll show you here, we need to change the blend mode to modulate, and we need to change the lighting mode to unlit. And you can see here, it makes the decal appear slightly translucent. I'll drag it over here slightly. And there you can see, it makes the decal appear slightly translucent, and you can see right through it. And that's actually all we need to do, so we can just tick here to save. Now, you do have the option to add a normal also. Normals are height values, but decals usually don't really have height values because they're going to uh, fit to the wall. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by that now. Just I'll just get out of that because I don't need it anymore. And I'll just reopen the content browser that I minimized earlier. And I'm going to just save the package. It's always a good idea just to save the package. I'm going to click into the decals, and there's my Adidas decal. I'm just going to drag this over to the side slightly. I'm just going to drag it right in and drop it on. Now you can see it's vastly oversized, so you can just hit space to resize it. Just scale it down slightly. There you are. Finished Adidas decal, or a graffiti decal. This can be, again, done by with any image but uh, it's advisable to use suitable images like these or crack in the wall or something that you just want to signpost, something like that. I'm just going to walk over and show you. And that's the finished product. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and please check out more videos on the online design teacher YouTube channel.